All right, well, it looks like Halo Infinite is gonna be saved. We have cross-core visors coming with this upcoming drop pod on August 9th. We also have challenges being displayed in game when you press start. And we have um, two of the same playlists coming, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense in Halo Infinite, and we'll explain. I'll explain why later. Um, but yeah, things are things are looking up for Infinite. Yay! But in all seriousness, uh, yeah, this drop pod sucks. Uh, wasn't I wasn't expecting much out of it at all. I, I I know how they've explained drop pods. When things are ready, they throw it in a drop pod and then they push it out. Uh, we didn't get a drop pod the month of July. Um, so that was kind of weird because I thought this was going to be like a monthly thing, but I don't know for sure that they, they said that. But, um, yeah, all I can say is this shit is taking way too long. It's taking way, 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 way too long. With the pace 343 is, is operating at right now, like we, we are not talking about a, a finished Halo Infinite for years. Like this is going to take forever. It, I mean, it might, it might never be finished. I mean, that's very possible. Now, some people say Halo should be given to a different studio, and then you have other people that say, no, it, it's, even though it's not great in 343's hands, it's, um, it's better off with 343, more so than another studio. And I, I can kind of see that, honestly. Like, yeah, 343 has done a horrible job. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Like, <laughs> it's, it's really bad. But still, it might be even worse if you give it to another studio. Who knows? But at this point, at this point, you got you got to do something. You got to give it to another studio. You, you got to do something. You got to do something at this point because it's been so bad for so long. And hey, even if you gave it to another studio like like id, I see a lot of people suggest id. Maybe maybe they would make a game, a Halo game that didn't even didn't feel like Halo. But maybe it felt good in a different type of way. I, I I want Halo to be Halo. I'm just saying. Maybe they they create a different type of experience that doesn't necessarily feel like Halo, but it does feel good and it's you know better than the dog shit 343 is putting out. Also, like for me right now, I'm not even playing Halo Infinite, right? Like many of us have just quit the game altogether. So what if you give it to another studio and it's bad or just as work? If it's uh just as bad or even worse. Okay, then I'll, I'll just still not be playing the game, right? Like, nothing changes for me. I'm not playing it now, and I wouldn't be playing it then if it was even worse. So, uh, yeah. Even if you truly believe that 343 is is the best studio to be working on Halo right now, it, it's been so bad for so long, and, and you, gotta, you gotta switch things up. You gotta try something now. We are at that point. We've been at that point for a while. Now, something I want to address that I talked about in my last video is that there are some people out there that throw a fit when you criticize 343 or the game, and they, they say things like, oh, we already know, we already understand, you don't have to keep beating a dead horse. I get, first off, again, I'm not convinced 343 truly knows how bad this game actually is, just because, you know, some of the things I've heard them say, I've seen them do, like saying this is their best work. But also, this is this is a more likely way to bring about change. You gotta be repetitive. You gotta be consistent. 343 is used to people being complaining about their games at launch and then quitting the game and you know kind of moving away and not really saying that much. People did that with Halo 4, Halo 5, and and MCC. Like they're used to that. Well, people were pretty persistent with MCC. I remember in like all of 343's live streams, people were spamming, fix MCC, fix MCC, fix MCC. And what do you know? They actually updated MCC and there's, and you know, they've been updating it. If people would have just bitched about MCC at launch and how broken it was and then just stopped complaining. Yeah, I, I think it is a lot less likely that MCC would have been improved like it has been. Um. So yeah, you gotta be consistent, you gotta be repetitive. Like, just complaining at launch and saying, alright, they already, they understand guys, now we don't have to complain anymore, alright, just, you know, go do other things, like... That's not the best way to bring about change. Persistence, consistency, imagine if everyone that talked about Halo on Twitter, or YouTube, or whatever it is, was just 
bitching about the game, pointing out the flaws with this incomplete game every day, every day. That's every Halo video. That's everything you see on Twitter. 343, they, they got a bunch, bunch of people tweeting at them. Is the game fixed yet? When's the game going to be fixed? Are, are you fixed? This is, this is taking forever. I'm not saying harass them. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying be persistent in, call, in pointing out the flaws with this game and how unacceptable it is to launch a game in this state. Yeah, that's more likely to bring about change than just not talking about it at all. Now, for me, my videos are not part of some some kind of push to to make something happen. I'm just speaking my mind. That's what these videos are. I just you know want to talk about stuff and I make a video. That's what this is. But regardless, it's so it's silly how people just don't realize that they think you're only allowed to criticize something one time. One time, oh, they already know, guys. Let's stop. Let's stop talking about it. Nah, that that is not that is not the best way to bring about change. Now you could argue, oh well, what is shitting on the game every day going to do? How is that going to help things? I don't, I don't know. Might get three for three off a of Halo. <laughs> Actually, you know, like that that would be that's another like I would be okay with that. Three, the, the game shut the live service for Halo Infinite is shut down, or the servers are shut down, and and we're done with Halo. Halo's done. Halo's not being developed anymore. I I yeah, that's a better option. Than what we have now, where we're just being drip-fed content that should have been in the game day one, and 343 has been putting out dog shit for the last, like, fucking decade. Halo not being in any type of development at all, yeah, I, I, I like that option more than what we have now. So now, with all that out of the way, let's, um, let's talk about this August 9th drop pod. Yeah. So first thing I want to talk about is the the visors. We're getting cross core visors. As many of you know, Halo Infinite has dog shit customization and has like all these different armor cores and you can only use certain armor or visors on that specific armor core. But now they're doing cross core visors. So you can use multiple different visor colors on multiple different armor cores you can mix and ma mix and match yay you, you could do that in uh yeah, halo 3. <laughs> like i know halo 3's customization was very bare bones but still you could mix and match all the armor you could mix and match all of it however you wanted same with halo reach um again halo reach didn't have as much armor or visor colors as halo infinite does but still you could mix and match however you wanted we're still not getting that in halo infinite with this drop pod. I think that's in the works. I think eventually we might get there. But the other Halo games with customization had that shit at launch where you could completely mix and match. Right now with this drop pod, we're only getting cross core visors. We're only getting visors. Every other Halo game, Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo 4, and Halo 5, which had customization for your Spartan, you can mix and match however you wanted. We're. we're Halo Infinite, six years of development, eight months past launch. It released in 2021. And you mean to tell me like these decade old Halo games had it? And we still, we still ain't getting it with Halo Infinite. This, this game is not in a good spot. Like, no, like I, this is too slow. This is way too slow. I, I do want 343 off of Halo. Like that, that would be... That would be great to see. Fuck bringing Halo back. Fuck, fuck, fuck that. Actually, yeah, let it die. That's 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 the new channel name, maybe. You know, let Halo die. That that's better than what we're doing right now. We're just dragging this dog shit along. Just let it die. Oh, or you could just stop playing it and let the people that enjoy the game enjoy it. Oh, yeah, they, they can enjoy the game, sure. I'm just saying what I would like to see, right? I would like to see this game. No more development. I mean, if, th if things are going to be like this, if things are going to take this fucking long and the game is going to be shit and they're going to ignore these glaring issues with the game, I, I mean, yeah, then let it fucking die. Now, another thing we are getting with this drop pod, you can view your challenges when you press start in a game. That seems, um, seems kind of familiar. I, I, I know I've seen that somewhere before. Uh, it's kind of hard to remember because it was like a decade ago or something like that, way back in like 2010. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, Halo, Halo Reach, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, decade old Halo game, yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, you could uh, in Halo Reach at la a launch. You could press start in a game, view your challenges, and they would update in real time. Not the Halo Infinite challenges. No, 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 no. You're going to be able to view them when you press start in game, but they're not going to update. There's no counter, like one out of ten. Like you're not going to be able to see that in game because they can't get it to. They don't. They haven't gotten it to update in real time yet, so you can't see your progress. In Halo Reach, you could. Actually, in Halo Reach, it would even pop up in, like, the bottom right of your screen. Like, there were certain milestones where the challenge would pro pop up and show your progress, and then it would pop up and show when it was completed, and you could view it in-game by pressing start, going to challenges, looking at all your challenges, and all your real-time progress on them. 20 fucking 10. Halo Infinite launched in 2021 with six years of development, and we're eight months post-launch, and we still don't have that. Unfucking believable Also in Halo Reach, you could view your uh, your rank in game too, and your progress bar. I don't remember if that updated in real time, but still, you could see your your rank and 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 ha your progress bar for that rank. And um, Halo Infinite doesn't even have a progression system. Again, I, I know many of us do know this, but again, I, I talked about persistence, and I, I want to keep these things in perspective. Because some people out there are, are applauding 343 right now for drip-feeding shit that should have been in the game day one. Like, <laughs> I, they should not be celebrated for this. For this drop pod. This, this All this drop pod is is like, alright, cool. Now uh, fix all the other shit. Get all the other shit added. Like, that. that's all this is. There, there should be absolutely no praise for this at all. None. Now, two weeks after this drop pod drops we're getting two playlists ranked team doubles and social team doubles oh and we're also getting our ranks reset again huh reset again you know uh halo reach used to reset ranks back in 2010 with each season and guess what you could check your rank for the previous season in your fucking service record in 2010 Halo Reach. You could check your rank for every fucking season in your service record. You could check other players' fucking ranks for every fucking season in their fucking service record. Like, what, what, was that fucking magic? Like, how? That, I don't know many other games that do that. Jesus Christ, like that is something that matters to me because that time you put it, it wasn't even just your rank. You could see like your kills and deaths and wins and losses for that season. You had stats for that season. You could see for, what the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? Holy shit, man. I can't, I, I can't thinking about it. We used to have that. And that is something that, that matters to me and, and many others as well. I like to see those stats. I like to see that rank. I like to have it on the game forever even if it resets that was the only way i didn't mind ranks resetting is when you could check it in game it was there it was on your service record it was like it, boom there it is halo infinite and many other games halo 5 like the ranks reset and then it's just gone forever like it's gone forever on the game you can't check it on the game now the reason i'm not thrilled about getting two doubles playlist is is one um Maybe we could have done two, you know, different playlists instead of two of the same playlists, except one's ranked and one's social. That, you know, maybe that would have been nice. Um, <clears throat> we also don't have a ranked Team Slayer playlist still. Um, <laughs> we've had a ranked Team Slayer playlist at launch since, uh, well, in Halo 5, Halo Reach, Halo 3, and uh, I believe Halo 2 as well. Uh, Halo 4 didn't have ranks, so we didn't have it in that game, but... Ranked Team Slayer is what I spend, like, that is what I enjoy most about Halo, is playing Ranked Team Slayer. That's where I spend a ton of my time. Social social Team Slayer doesn't count. Uh, especially when you don't even have a progression system. Um, so, yeah. Ranked Team Slayer is what I enjoy most about Halo, and um, eight months after long... Actually, I think we're coming up on nine months. Well, nine months if you start from the... November date where it was released where it was called a beta or whatever so like nine months and we still don't have something as 
core to the game is a ranked team Slayer playlist. Now, another thing I'm not huge on about this two doubles playlist is, um, you know, the fact that Halo, Halo Infinite, it's not the healthiest game uh, when it comes to population. It's not dead, but it's dying. It's been dying. And um, why, why are we trying to split the player base right now? Like, that just doesn't seem like a smart thing to do. Uh, you know, a lot of people just... Like, are we trying to kill the ranked doubles playlist by adding a social doubles playlist along with it? Because many people are just going to flock to the social playlist, right? To get challenges done and stuff like that. Um, that's just the way it is. And another thing that doesn't make sense to me is... From what people have said, from what people have tested from what I experienced when I played the game, I don't know if this is absolutely 1000% confirmed, but it seems like in the ranked playlist in Halo Infinite, I mean, this is the consensus, is is that the way it matches you is not by rank. It matches you by your MMR, your hidden matchmaking rank. That's how it matches players in the ranked playlist. Okay, but even in the non-ranked playlist, it still matches you based off of MMR. So if it's matching you the same way, if it's matching players the same way in both the social doubles and the ranked doubles playlist, then why the fuck do you need two fucking playlists? That doesn't make any fucking sense. It's not like it's not like it's a more casual experience in social because it's still matching you based off of MMR. It's, and ranked apparently matches you based off of MMR. Maybe 343 is just hoping that the uh, the more skilled players do hop into the ranked playlist and the more casual players hop into the social playlist. But still, if it's matching you guys, players the same way in both, then that really doesn't make any fucking sense to have two different playlists, especially when you don't have a progression system uh, to earn XP or credits in the social playlist. So yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense at all. So, um, yeah, that's the drop pod coming August 9th. Um, I think there was a few small other things um, that they mentioned in that in that um, about this drop pod. Like, I think um, region select will be a thing in the future. And I think you can use uh, more Mark 7 attachments on like all the Mark 7 helmets or something like that. But, um, yeah, not not too exciting. This is nothing to be applauded. This is nothing to be excited about. I mean, I get you can be excited about it if you're if you're happy with the current state of this dog shit game and you enjoy something like doubles, like or, or a cross core visor. Sure, you can be excited about it. Uh, but for most of us, I don't I don't really think we are. Um, they get this is definitely not nothing to be celebrated. This this is just shit that should have been in the game at launch. That's all it is. That's all a lot of this stuff is gonna be. A lot of these updates going forward, it's all just going to be shit. A lot of it's just going to be shit that should have been in the game at launch. Again, repetition and persistence, that that's what brings about change. That's what's more likely to bring about change, okay? So, like, there's nothing wrong with criticizing the, the same things over and over and over again. Like, that, that's, that's not a problem. That is not a problem at all. I mean, 343 has not... They, have, they haven't done anything. They, they haven't, like, answered our our complaints. Like, they, they haven't done shit. And again, I still haven't seen them acknowledge how bad this game actually is. Again, it just seems like they think it's a good game, but it has some issues and it's missing some content. But it's way worse. It's way worse than that. And they don't treat it like that. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.